Now, minor M22 is obtained from the initial one by crossing out the second row and the second column. And then the numbers left will form the determinant, the minor, we were looking for. So, it will go like this. 2 times 3, 5, 4, 9. And then minus minor 2, 3, which is obtained by crossing out the second row as well. And then third column. And the numbers left are 3, 2, 4, and 6. 3, 2, 4, and 6. <clears throat> okay, now we have two more determinants to calculate. The error of the size 2 by 2. But our formula works for the determinant of any size, so the calculations of these two won't be a problem at all. Now, let's rewrite them separately and calculate them. So the first goes like this, 3, 5, 4, 9. Now, according to the formula, the first thing to do is to choose a row or a column. I suggest that we choose the first row, although it doesn't matter uh, if if we choose any other one. So this means that we set i to the value of 1. Um, yeah. Set i to a number of 1. Substituting in the same formula, it will look like this. 1 plus j, a, 1j, m, 1j. And since our determinant to calculate is of the size 2 by 2, the number of columns in this determinant equals to 2, therefore j changes from 1 to 2. So now in detail, minus 1 taken to the power of 1 plus 1 times a11 times m11. Now we're talking about this determinant, do not forget. And then plus minus 1 to the power of 1 plus 2 times a12 times m12. Or, or A11 is 3 minus 1 to the even power is 1 minus 1 to the odd power is minus 1 so we go, we go like this minus A12 which is 5 times M12 the minors are defined exactly the same as above. So in order to define M11 for this determinant, we would cross out the first line and the first column from the, uh, from the given determinant. So as you can see, for the determinant 2 by 2, the minor is a single number, 9, right here. So we can write down 3 times 9 minus 5 times m12, which is obtained by crossing out the first row and the second column.
column of the determinant, which leaves us four, a single number as well. So we have 27 minus 20, which is seven. This determinant equals to seven. And then the second one. But wait, look closer. What, would, what do we have here? Three times nine. Three times nine. We multiply the elements lying in the main diagonal of the determinant. And then five times four. The product of the elements lying in the reverse diagonal of the determinant. And then the second product goes subtracted from the first one. This is a trick that always works for the determinant of the size 2 by 2, so it's worth remembering. And remembering this trick, we can very quickly calculate the second determinant. 3, 2, 4, 6 equals to the second product minus the, the first, uh, the product of the numbers lying in the main diagonal minus the product of the elements lying in the reverse diagonal. So it's 18 minus 8, which brings us to 10. And this determinant equals to 10. This means that we can go on with our computing. 2 times 7 minus 10. 14 minus 10 is 4. And this is the answer to our problem right here. So our delta equals to 4. setting i to a value of 1. So the formula, the whole formula for this particular case would look like this. Delta equals to the sum of j changing from 1 to 4 because this one right here has 4 columns. Minus 1 to the power of 1 plus j, because we've just set i to, to a value of 1, times a 1j, and times m 1j. Now, changing j from 1 to 4, step by step, we will obtain four uh, summons for this formula. Let's do that. So the first summon would go like this. Minus 1 
taken to the power of 1 plus 1 times a 1 1 and times m 1 1 or minus 1 to the odd to the even power is 1 a 1 1 is 1 as well and now m 1 1 m 1 1 is a determinant defined by removing the first row in our, in our determinant or in our matrix and the first column but look these numbers form the determinant we have just calculated so with no hesitation at all I just substitute this newly obtained number into this formula right here so multiply by 4, which is 4. And now the second summand. Minus 1 to the power of 1 plus 2 times a, 1, 2, times m, 1, 2. Minus 1 times 0 and times m, 1, 2 which is zero, because this element contains zero and it's useless to uh, calculate this minor. Then the third sum. Minus one to the power of one plus three times a one three times m one three. One times zero again and times m. 1, 3. And again we have 0. And we don't have to calculate m13 as well. And then the third sum. The fourth, I mean, I'm sorry. The fourth sum. <coughs> Minus 1 taken to the power of 1 plus 4 times a, 1, 4, and times m, 1, 4 which is minus 1 times 2 this time we won't be so lucky m times m 1 4 and m by 4 uh, m 1 4 is defined by crossing out the first line the first row of the determinant and the fourth column of, the, of this determinant. So it would go like this. 5, 3, 2, 1, 0, 2, 0, 4, 6. You got it, right? I won't write down, write down the rest. But you can do it in your own time as an exercise. And the answer to this determinant is 104, which you can check yourself. So, enjoy your determinants!